Okay, so, hi. I had uh, two weeks off of work, and I spent some of it coding, and a lot of it watching my children who couldn't go to daycare, it turns out. So, <laughs> didn't get as much coding done as I wanted to. Um, I figured I'd put up a video, though, because I figured everyone could use some good news about now, take the mind off things. Um, my dog appears to be eating a bone. Bash. Anyways. Um, so I'd said I was going to work on the Melee script and finish it up and do that ASAP, and then I went to vacation, and then I remember this arm IK, upper body IK paper that I'd read about a year ago during my last Christmas vacation, and was considering implementing back then. There's a couple other people interested in implementing it this year. <coughs> and um, I don't know, I got kind of interested in it again. So I did that instead. I will be going back to the Melee script again probably now because this has been actually more annoying than I thought it would be. <coughs> the white paper was a little bit um, vague. The thesis was a little better, but, you know, wasn't that good. There was an example implementation in Unity that was a really rough translation to UE4, but whatever. It's good enough now that I can actually, you know, like use it in the debug mode and test it out and iterate over it and fix all the little bugs like, you know, the singularity when you're too close to your shoulder, which is actually part of that um, implementation, but it's just not quite fully realized yet. Anyways, um, it's the Parker paper. It's uh, the best arm I, upper body IK I've seen. I've seen some implementations of it by other people that I really thought was good, but there hasn't been any UE4 version of it yet, so I figured, you know, it's about time to actually have one. I, there's a, Those other people that were interested in it have been working on it as well. Now that this is kind of working, I've uh, given them reference material for it. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll have a stable UE4 version of the um, upper body IK and it can be released to the public for everyone. Um, I don't necessarily want to tie it to my plugin, so that's why I'd want to work with the other people for it. But certainly a version packaged with the plugin would have specific features. Like last time I played with this, I was playing with the lean detection, which it has. This blue line is what it assumes is my shoulder position, which is pretty accurate. And I would used it to offset my collision capsule backwards when I um, leaned so that I could, you know, lean over desks and stuff and pick stuff up and that kind of thing and wouldn't get pushed back if I allowed full collision with the desk. And it worked pretty nice. <coughs> so I'd probably be running that back. Um, obviously, you know, skeletal mesh control, that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, I just had to fix two functions on it and clean up that, el that singularity when it's too close to the shoulder, and it's pretty good. I'll just start iterating over that eventually again. Uh, one of the neat features of it is um, it does have hand orientation waiting so that when that's fully realized, it's implemented, but it's buggy, so I turned it off for now. Um, let's say you move your, arm, your hand like this. It'll detect that this is a weird, uncommon rotation with my shoulder mostly straight here. So it'll bend the elbow out more to match it. So it'll, like the elbow would be out like to here. So it'd be like a more normal curl. If I go like this, instead of the elbow being out here for this, you know, for this weird orientation of the hand, it'll move the elbow in more where mine is, like my elbow, actual elbow is like here. That's cool. It's also got a robust shoulder estimation, which uses a blended forward vector between the hands. So you can see it's mostly waiting to my hands for the forward vector, which is nice and natural to exterior observers. It's a little less natural to the actual player, but well, I mean, what are you going to do? You can choose the head or you can choose the hands. It's got some head weighting where it only allows, I think, 80 degrees before the head locks in the rotation. That way, you can't rotate past your shoulders with your head, which is nice. Just keeps it locked to it, and that's a good feature. Overall, I just really like what they did, and being a logical IK and not a bone chain with constraints-based IK, it lets you <coughs> add your own, limita own limits and... Um, changes to it really easily and just experiment and play with it and I think it's got a lot of potential so it's the one I wanted to work with uh, like I said though I think that I'm a little sick of it at the moment <laughs> I did not like that unity conversion like I said so um, 
I might leave it for a week or two and go back to Melee. We'll see. At least I've got two functional projects now to work on, uh, Melee Grip Script and the RMIK, and they're both at the point where they can be worked with. So, hey. Oh, yeah, I forgot to calibrate. My arms are too short. There we go. That's more like my actual arms, aren't they? Yeah, that's more like my actual arms. So, anyways, um, bye. I'll see you around.